welcome to uh, Harris Field, where uh, myself, David Hamer, and currently joined by Evie Hamer. Hi, Evie. Hi. Uh, we're here to watch uh, uh, Belmont Girls Rugby Marauders versus a Gunquin at uh, Harris Field. Beautiful, warm, sunny evening. Yes, very warm. Very warm. We're just uh, just waiting for kickoff. So, Evie, you're returning to uh, Belmont High School. You played your high school rugby. Yeah, yeah. I'm in my. I just finished my sophomore year of college. Now I'm back for the summer. And, and sporting a, a Belmont Rugby Club T-shirt tonight. Yes, of course. Fond memories of this field. Yeah, yeah, not so much the, the turf itself, it's the nasty turf burn. What but is it team. like? What is it like on a hot day? Even worse? I'd say so. Bottom of the cleats get very hot. Oh, wow. Yeah, um, but great memories of the team. Great program here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great people, great coaches. Really inspired my love for the game as well. I'm still playing in college. Fantastic. Yeah. Some of these players will have actually been on a team with you, I yes. guess, some of the older ones. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I played with both like the juniors and seniors on the team right now. So we're lining up, um, and it looks like uh, Belmont have the kickoff. So kicking right to left, as ever, thanks to Belmont Media and Jeremy Meserve, who's here to film us today and record us. And uh, Lucy Cabral with the uh, kickoff. Both these, t oh, good oh, catch in the end. So both these teams undefeated. So uh, Evie, as you were saying, this was a this is a makeup game effectively, and both teams uh, undefeated this year. So uh, yeah, should be exciting. Should be exciting. Gunquin, I, th hit. I think yes. So Evie, this year Belmont, as ever, you know, very strong in tackling, very strong in D. Yes. And I think a gun queen are a team that uh, like to go through their forwards a lot. So it's looking like that, a lot of a lot of um, charging right up the AV channel there. So we'll go through uh, some names. We have a we have a roster for a gun queen as well. So we'll try to call out folks' names as and when we have an opportunity. Um, so the first whistle of the day. And that actually is, ah. Not yes. releasing. Not releasing, I think. That signal looked like holding onto the ball, but not releasing is the, is the signal. And oh, that might have been holding. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah, maybe holding. So it was against Belmont, so, uh, and the gun queen had the ball. So that's our first penalty of the, of the uh, afternoon. And uh, always a choice for penalties. And uh, a gun queen there choosing to kick to touch. And then that gives them... Uh, the opportunity to throw the ball in at the line out. <coughs> Crowd filling up, Evie. Yes. Yeah, it's a beautiful day to it watch. Why windy, actually, I realize. Yeah, I didn't notice that before. Yeah, I know. So. Oh. oh, that was a missed pass. So it was a good line out by yep. Gunquin and good some good handling skills so far. Sadie Taylor chasing down number fifteen. Oh, looks like Oh a turnover. Forward. Yep, turnover. Gabby Lamuto is uh, fifteen for a Gunquin and the captain actually. And she oh and lucky just that's a knock. A knock on there. That's Ali today on the left wing, right? We're probably Yep, Ali. On the left wing, and uh, Chloe Ellis um, on the right wing. So Chloe will be wearing number 14 on the right wing, and uh, Ali Caputo, number 11, on the left wing. So here we have our first scrum of the day. So all eight forwards against each other here. On the front row for uh, Belmont, Tabby, Kelsey, and Liv Mann, number 24, 2, and 3, respectively. It was a gun queen ball, so that must be a knock-on, Evie. Yes, it was a knock-on oh. from Ali. Yep. Oh, that, that is... That seems to go straight up. Okay. Might have just gotten into touch there. Another line out. Let's go, Belmont! Yeah, so kicking against the wind there didn't help a gun queen. So oh, yes, gets the wind. So often trying to, in that kind of 
position, trying to clear the ball, clear their lines, you'll hear the, the phrase. So here we've got Kelsey Donaldson for Belmont with the throw. Cleanly taken, and the forwards the into a rolling ball. Look at that. And now out, the space outside. Yes. yes. Good Here's score. Robin with the score there. So, so Robin with the score. Right and, uh, yeah, you play with Robin's sister. I do, Ed Sage. Bowden. Yep. So Sage was the year below you. Is the year below you? Yep, you're okay. below me. Great. Yes, we played together at Belmont and then again now. College. How much fun. It's great. Uh, so first score to Belmont. That's five points to Belmont. So a great uh, line out. And then... Uh, we're clearly numbers outside, so that's what the backs are trying to do, is try to get on the outside, generally on the outside of the opposition uh, backs, trying to tackle them, and uh, worked to a charm. So Lucy... Lucy Cable with, with the kick. This for an extra two points. Good that's kick. Good. So, first blood, a uh, first score to Belmont, seven points to nil. Okay, so now, uh, unlike many other sports you've probably heard us say before, in, in rugby, cruelly, the person scored against has to kick the ball back to the, uh, the team that just scored. Uh, ball has to go 10 meters here, drop kick, so the ball has to hit the ground before kicking it, and uh, it has to go more than 10 meters. Oh, one-handed kick, Evie. Doesn't that will quite make it. No. And so Belmont did the right thing there. Five uh, is uh, Sally Aimer. Mm -hmm. Good thing. She didn't... Good leaving uh, the ball. Leaving the ball, so that's a very great skill to learn at this age. Looks like they opted for the scrum. Yeah, so if you don't, if you touch the ball then, then I think nowadays the rule is that the game would just continue, right? It's as if you've, it's as if you've said, okay, it didn't go 10, yes. I'm going to play it. And, yes. then, and then Belmont might have been under some pressure. Yeah. But leaving it and letting a gun queen touch the ball first meant that there was a scrum back at the halfway line, which is much better for yeah. Belmont. Yeah, because if you get the re-kick option, it's scrum, right? You get the re-kick. So the yeah. ref asks the captain. The ref only ever asks the captain. There's no coaches involved in any decision-making on the field. Great ball nice out. Nice pass. Oh, yeah, Layla gets the ball out very quickly. Yeah, that, was, that was a nine. nice pass. But, uh, All right, scrum right back the other way. Yeah. That means uh, Gunquin are in a not, not bad position here, so they're... Interesting how they've split their backs. will be interesting to see which way they go. Yes, and they did that in D. They did that in defense at the scrum as well, so I'm pretty sure that's, a, that's how they go into the... Uh, each scrum, okay, solid scrum. And oh, that's happened a couple of times actually, where they pass the ball behind the play. Good tackle. That's number 17, Sarah Boss with that tackle. So, Evie, are you? Uh, I'm going to pass you, along. You're going to pass on the. Uh, well, thank you. Sorry, of we course. didn't get that much chance to no, chat, no but worries. you can come back here's, anytime. Here's and we're now, uh, she's going to pass over to Charlie Cook. Good move, a gun queen. Good tackle. Hello, Charlie. Good evening, David. How are you? Very good, thank you. Yes. Oh, good start from Belmont, but a gun queen is showing some uh, flair and promise here. Good couple of good runs. Yeah, I always say, in actual fact, a penalty. I'm not sure what that one is was for, but uh, a gun queen trying to muscle the ball over the line. So I can get my bearing. The gun queen are playing left to right, lighter jersey, yeah. white jersey, Belmont blue jersey, 0-0, zero, zero, correct? No, it's not 0-0. Zero, zero. We have, uh, yes, sorry, I was so engrossed in the game, Charlie. It's 7-0 to Belmont. Okay, thank you. So a wonderfully well-worked try off a line out in the backs for Robin to score underneath the posts and Lucy converted. Brogalkin putting on some good sustained pressure here, maintaining the ball. 
coming out. Ooh. Some moves, a good move there, great defense. One thing is for sure, Belmont has been practicing all week to counter this forward uh, dominated play from the, the Agunquin. And just as I say that, they're spinning the ball all the way out to the winger. <laughs> that was a good tackle there by yeah, Ali Caputo. Yeah. Oh, number 14? Uh, yeah, maybe uh, Chloe on that one. Sorry, Chloe. Yeah, yeah. Chloe Ellis, thank you. Yeah, so Charlie, perhaps I said already, both teams uh, undefeated up to now as well. Ah. So this was a rearranged game for a game that was cancelled, I think, because of the storm, impending storm. Nice drift defence there, Charlie, as well from Belmont. Okay, so uh, a gun quit not. Uh, lots of possession, Charlie, but not actually going too far. Yes, yeah, very good flat line defense here from, from Belmont. They're not letting the yards come through. Good driving tackle there. Ball spun back out here and then right up very quickly. Great work there. Oh, I thought they'd... Uh I thought they'd managed to uh, jump over the uh, over the ruck there, Charlie. Still really stuck Oh, counter-rack from Belmont. Counter-rack. Belmont, Belmont stolen. Very good. Excellent play. That's a good reward for all that strong defense. Oh. oh. So, Charlie, I want to, um, okay, so that was a, uh, a penalty against Belmont there, which was uh, still keeping uh, a gun queen at bay here. Tight in this corner here, five yards out, O'Colquhoun with the ball, driving forward, Belmont really, oh, they cleared, Lucy tried to clear it out there, ball comes back in. Okay. Did uh, Lucy kick that? She did. The ball bounced oh. out and Lucy kicked it out. It must have been a knock forward. Oh, okay. So, uh, knock forward and then Lucy uh, tried to belt it up the field. No advantage, so it's call back. I think it's a scrum to Belmont, right? It is. Yeah, so uh, this is the second, uh, second scrum we've seen. All pretty solid so far from both teams. That was a great sustained um, period of pressure from Agunquin and, and expertly uh, countered by Belmont. So let's see what they can do here. Playing with the wind. Good kick. Very good. Okay, and now here's Ali Caputo tearing down. This is going to be interesting. Oh, she oh, gets her, it. brings her down. Good. That is the captain for Agunquin, um, Gabby Lomoto who is the captain playing a fullback. So good play in the end by her. Good play, yeah. Protected the ball well. Agonquin have got back very well behind the line here to form up another attacking line. They're trying to go out the backs now, all the way out. And it's all the way out to their left wing. Number 11, Fatima Bamba. They still retain the ball. Very good ball retention yeah. here. The, the shape of their... Uh, attack is good, and they're protecting the ball when they're over the top of it, Charlie. It's the textbook now out again. It's good passing, good clean oh. pass. Oh, and a breakthrough there. Is this their fullback? Good tackle, good tackle there by... Oh, there's... What was that, 15? That's Robin. Yeah, Robin with a great tackle. So that's the... Way to go, Robin! That was a great tackle. So you've seen that... The same, the same player broke earlier on, Charlie. The same outcome. A, a great tackle by Robin. So the number eight fullback. is uh, let's oh yeah, number, eight. number eight. Very good break there by Becca Correra. A Correa. But a penalty to Belmont, and Lucy nice kicks it in. Yeah. Oh, what a break. Wow. Uh, 
So I think given the hot conditions yes. tonight, it's, it's probably going to be two, two of these each half, maybe. Uh, probably. I, I was just uh, only querying the, uh, the time. It's 13, 13 minutes. I, I thought there might only be one, but it is a really, really hot day. Luckily, we're in the shade up here. Yeah, Charlie. we're very much lucky. And I think e even though it's very hot, I think it's also the first very hot day, too. So yes. uh, I'm sure it's quite tough for the, the young athletes out there in this, these conditions. It's certainly tough on my bike today, Charlie. Yeah, I can imagine. Have you taken the training wheels off yet? Have you progressed on to just fri two yeah, wheels the, now? The, the, the friction from those training wheels is, <laughs> is, is, is terrible. It takes you about, what, 90 minutes to get into work now in Boston, yeah? yeah? Exactly. <laughs> I'm, uh, it's, uh, Jeremy's probably going to cut out the water break. <laughs> But what a great scene, though, Charlie. Obviously, Evie here earlier on, and obviously your daughters went through the program. We know firsthand what a great program it is. It All is. the parents here, and, and particularly the kids, of course, and the whole school understands the uh, merit of this program. It see is it. a super program. It's great to see some really competitive rugby today. It's great to see this Algonquin program as uh, strong as it is. I think oh. it's great for both teams to be playing against and this level of intensity, this focus, concentration, yes. right? Every ball possession is key. We say that every week. And, you know, this, this sh tight, sharp games really focus the concentration of these players. So they got to take every ounce of energy from the training field and put it into practice here. Absolutely. So, oh, it's, this it's, is great. It's, it's a great thing to watch. Just rattling through the, the forwards uh, again. Uh, we mentioned Sally before at number five for, Bel uh, for Belmont, Sama Hama. Um, Abby Hill at number four, so those are the locks. They're behind the front row. Daniela Buffuno, Sarah Boss playing at number eight. She's got 17 on her jersey. And Sadie Taylor has number eight on her jersey. So uh, that's our Belmont Force. Good steal there from uh, Gunquin. That was, that was, you don't often see that. Oh, well done, that drive. Oh. Yeah, Tabby nearly. Uh, Tabby nearly did a counter rub yeah. there. Oh, that's a good high kick. It is. Robbins underneath oh, that. Oh, bobbled it. Just, just knocked forward. So who was that uh, kicking for a gun queen? I uh, didn't see that. So that's a, uh, a scrummage uh, for a gun queen. So just running through there. Uh, front row, Mackenzie Wood, Liana Mihan, and uh, Mary Carmen MC Escobar is the front row. Uh, Catherine Jordan and Grace Hedman. She's also a captain, Grace Hedman. They Herdman, play four and Herdman? five. Herdman, sorry. Yeah. I've got my long distance glasses. I'll on, take so. the next one because there's a nice Irish name. Neve McLaughlin here so with that's... Carly Gringus and Becca Correra filling out the back row. We've seen, uh, we've seen Becca already making those couple of great runs. Uh, Belmont uh, must have taken that one against the head, Charlie, we, um, which is also unusual, right? Because that must have been an Agunquin put in, and it is again. And uh, Sadie Taylor came up with the ball. Um, but now it's uh, gone out. So now it's a line out, throw to a gun queen. So is this their number five? Is their second row taking the throw in? So this is interesting. Yes, we may, uh, given the way the shirts have been uh, doled out, might not mean that uh, mm. always playing the position. Let's see. Good steal there from Belmont. And they Rock the ball back now, no hands, okay, that, get it back uh, with the feet. Yes. Let's go, uh, there's a live, uh, live man with the, uh, with the carry there, strong carry. Forwards really having to put some grind into a nice spin out there. Lucy with the kick. And that's oh, going to be, be. Yes. That's Mia that's Taylor. Mia Taylor there. dodges and inside in. and now she's going to sprint away. And she scores. Great. That was a well-practiced move. That it wasn't was. something that just happened. Like, really good move, good coordination amongst the backs. They probably had a call going there where Lucy knew she was going to put a high ball up, and, and Mia was knew that it was her job to catch that ball and sprint away, and boy, she did it well. So that was, that was great. Nice take from Mia Taylor. Difficult taking a ball coming over the top of your head like that. So just running through the backs for Belmont. I, I was mistaken early. Their passes are so similar, Charlie. Clarissa 
Field is playing today at number nine. I'd previously called her Layla. Those, those passes are fantastic, both of them. Lucy Buzz Cabral at number 10. She's taking the kick now. Then we've got Mia Taylor, who caught that ball, playing at number 12 as centre. And next to her is Hannah Jacoby. Uh, and then we've also mentioned uh, before already Ali Caputo on the left wing and Chloe Ellis on the right wing. So relieves the pressure a little bit on Belmont there. Gunquin had retained possession and were in Belmont's half there for a good 10 minutes without anything to show for it. It was a bit against the run of play, I would say, like Gunquin had been... Um you know, maintaining the ball, being, as you say, pinned deep into Belmont's half. So, uh, you know, good teams take their opportunities, and that was an opportunity, and uh, I think well-executed move. So, 14-0, and here we go again. Lucy Cable. Yeah, particularly with the speed. We've seen that time and time again, but with the, the pace Belmont have outside as well, as long as they get chances, they're probably going to take some of them, right? It's so Liv Taylor taking a good, or Liv uh, Mann taking yes. a good crash ball in. Ball spun out here. Oh, there there's an goal. overlap. There's an overlap. Get the pass out. Good well-timed pass there. Chloe Ellis on to That looks like Sadie, Sadie Taylor. Taylor. Yes. That was great skill there. So Chloe drawing the defending player there to make sure that she committed to the tackle before passing it. Difficult skill. Yeah, Sadie Taylor seems to be all over the field. <laughs> she is, she, right? She's she all is over the field. Very athletic, yes. super energy. Yeah. Wants to be part of everything, and she really uh, establishes herself in the team all over the place. So, great, great player. And she's, uh, I think she still has another year or two uh, in the program, hopefully. So. Yes, yeah, junior this year. Yes. She's junior this year, so one more year after this year. Okay, so Lucy again with a chance of a kick, lining it up with the posts. I will say, like nice what you were just saying there, is we should just sort of share this with the with the viewers and in that move where we had, we, we called it like there was an overlap, right? So it was a two-on-one situation. Very, very tempting, particularly uh, uh, at this stage of development for the players. Very tempting to, if you have the ball, take the ball, keep the ball, run with the ball, right, David? I see you laughing and acknowledgement but I think it takes a lot of poise to know that your job is to get the ball to the free person and yes. take that pass time it perfectly yep, and then just open the gate was open then for um, yeah, for Sadie just to kind of coast in under the under the line so really well executed move and, and very sort of disciplined play by, by uh, Chloe Alice there to yeah and, and extremely that. unselfish yeah and here is Here's Sadie, Sadie again I thought she was going to return the favour there with Chloe uh, possibly outsider on the wing. So nice. Oh, that was that good tackle tackling there. Good defence, but the ruck is formed. Nice. Uh, oh, and a little bit too much for Hannah to do there. And the refs called for the uh, for the knock on. So it was a difficult one for Hannah to take. Tabby did well in the ruck there. She was yeah. kind of, uh, the ball was kind of stuck and she, you know, didn't use her hands, used her feet to push it back out to give the, the pass out. But unfortunately, the pass did not go to hand. So, scrum to uh, Algonquin. Scrum half for Algonquin is Ava Lefebvre. And she's going to pass it maybe to uh, Elini. Chakaro at number 10. Centers there are Adriana Russell, Taylor Doing, with the wingers uh, Fatima Bamba on number 11, and number 14 is Abby AOR. And their captain, who I think we've mentioned, Gabby Lamuto, um, is their number 15 and fullback. So that was a promising move there. Unfortunately, ball dropped by Algonquin. It's a scrum to Belmont. We're about five yards inside of Belmont's half. Scores 21-0 with 20 minutes gone. And 
Yeah, that's going to be a penalty. The scrum half on Algonquin came around too much into the channel of Belmont at the back of the scrum. You can't do that. Put herself in an offside position, and it's a penalty to to Belmont. So Lucy here with a chance to uh, clear the ball. Not playing it. We can't feel the wind so much up here, but it was pretty windy today, and it's bound to die down as the evening goes on. But Belmont playing with the wind in this first half. Interesting, Charlie, here, the Gunquin coach had uh, listed down the seniors, five seniors only on the Algonquin team, which is... That's which, great, a young program. Good for, their, yeah. good for their program. Um, uh, One sophomore, that's great. Yep. And then a couple of freshmen in their, in their substitutes, in the substitutes two or three, so yes, that's on. a super oh, nice uh, bit of strength there. Oh no, it was all put in. Nice wrap around there by Lucy. A nice oh, take. Oh, and there's Robin. That's the offload out to Lucy, Lovely. who's winging out to Ali Caputo, and Mia Taylor's right outside her. Mia bursting yeah. down the side. Good cover there by Algonquin. Very actually, good cover and a good counter rock. They may get this back. Wow, that is excellent play. Excellent by Algonquin. Oh. Well played. That now, was great rugby from Belmont and uh, Algonquin. Really so. good counter rucking. They win the ball. Oh, Referee running, blows running. up. Oh. Offside, Offside by Belmont. Offside by Belmont. Okay, so what a great passage of play. Oh, and a kick. So that wind is affecting. You can hold, see that by the flags there. Algonquin, though, get the uh, put in here. So penalty to touch. So that was a super move by Belmont again. Well worked. Rice yeah. might deliver it, wrap around move, good yes. support by all the players. It worked perfectly um, against other teams that would have been a try, but Algonquin were very quick to the defense, came back, yeah. did a great try saving tackle. Four, I think uh, Nia had four players actually, uh, you know, covering her actually. Oh, a ball. Sally's Belmont just about to get the ball. Sally has yes. the ball, charging forward, brought down. Mia and here's Mia there. darting through. How quickly they uh, form up is uh, is great. S S Sally Sally. Again. Yeah, charging forward, gaining 10 yeah. yards. Great drive. Clean ball in the ruck. Lucy's calling for it. She has a move on. Live man. Live man. Good carry. Gosh, oh, that counter rocking is excellent. Like, that they is really excellent. Are, have got been practicing that in the week. And nice uh, keeping the ball alive there, actually. And a nice clearance. So Very good well played, Algonquin. Play. Yeah, good defense. Kept, kept their line straight. Good, good counter rocking. Clean ball out and good, good clearance. So they've made it outside their own 22. The... Uh, Rugby measurements in in meters, uh, the field uh, placements, but uh, around the 22 meter line. I was having a little debate in my head as I walked over here. Would we, we're so conditioned to say 22 meters, yet the yardage system is how everyone is so used to a football field, and so it's it the 25 yard, the 22 20, exactly. meter. And, um, and I was debating in my head, how do we how do we refer to that? <laughs> well, I think even Charlie. Maybe not for you. When I grew up, we used to call it the 25-yard line. Yes. Because we were still stuck in our yards. Oh, A good ball out. Ali, Ali now, Caputo there. Let's yeah. see. Can and they Chloe's win this come ruck? all the way around to support her as well. So that's also a great adventure from Belmont. Mm -hmm. Oh, it just went down. Went backwards, and backwards. Dropped. Oh, picked up again by Algonquin. Wow, good tackle. That's Hannah Jacoby, who is one of the... There's a lot of good tacklers in the Belmont team, but she is a uh, great form. So, um, referee, I'm not seeing her signals as clearly as sometimes. I think that, that was, was a, a handle on the hand round. Hand okay. Yeah. Belmont opting to run this with Sally, Sally. Aimer just plowing forward. Creates a good, solid ruck. Oof. Up quickly there, uh, Duncan. Was there number nine? Was good tackle there, and here Sadie is in. Sadie again, yes. in and over. Wow! Well, it was great there, Charlie. It was not just from the Belmont play there, but the Algonquin 
defender. I don't know if you noticed uh, there were only two players on that narrower side desperately calling for help ah. from her teammates to come across knowing the danger was going to come that way, which again shows great presence of mind and experience. And uh, unfortunately, <laughs> her teammates didn't help her on that occasion. And probably good heads up play by, by Lucy Cabral there to yes. orchestrate that on the side. See, this, notice that probably that was the weaker side and, yeah. and uh, Belmont had the advantage, so. Okay, Lucy it is with the extras. Nice. 100% nice. here tonight. So four for four. Kicking boots on today. So that's race to 28 with about 26 minutes gone. So six or seven minutes left, eight or nine minutes left in this half. It's the bonus point secured, David. Four tries. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So... Uh, Folks, in, in, yeah, in, in, in all rugby competition now, Charlie, to encourage higher scores, right? It was, uh, so even as a losing team, if you scored four tries, you could still get at least a point from the game. So right. this bonus point idea was new to a lot of people, but uh, has probably opened up the game a lot more. It doesn't count in high school, but every other game of rugby at a more senior level is is covered by the bonus does it system. does it work in college is, does the college uh, do they oh, adopt the bonus point or is it i guess is I'm it really sure. post college rugby i think it's probably post college yeah, i think it is definitely club definitely club rugby uh, major league rugby definitely here yes. as well the more professional game and, and the women's you know amateur and professional sports post post collegiate too or post All right, so, so yeah, well, Gunquin now uh, attacking again up to this famous 22-meter uh, line. <laughs> Belmont to defend now. Gosh, what a lovely evening. So, not, as you said earlier, so nice to be in the shade here, but it's uh, clear blue skies. Like it's super, it really super warm spring day. It really is. Even, even set for the Memorial Day weekend, Charlie, I think. So, Algonquin, back to the rugby. They were looking for something before half-time, a reason to go in with their, with their tails up. And... Who is our player? Here she comes again, Charlie. You see her coming out, number eight. Again, Becca Correa. She's the one who's had to cause a lot of damage so far, and so uh, she's lurking now out in the backs for Algonquin. Oh, that's a good, good play there. Broke yes. through a couple of tackles. Nice steal from Sadie. I think the ball yeah, has no been one. turned over, right? Yeah. Okay, no. So, so it was Daniela Buffuno, I think, who, who stole that ball. But I don't think uh, maybe she was a tackler and hadn't released the uh, the player. Good tackle, Sally. Oh, and there's it, there's the uh, oh in there's touch, in touch. Becca, I think, came around on the loop there. Yes. You were saying that she was lurking, lurking, looking for an advantage there. So. So she, they went out, it's a ball went into touch. It's a, a throw in, line out to Belmont. Deep inside their own half, inside their probably maybe 10 yards from their line. And stolen. Oh, stolen away. This is a great opportunity for Algonquin now. If they can form something up here. Clean ruck, ball's taken tight. Forwards are keeping it very tight. And Belmont are up to it. Each tackle, ball comes out the back. Number one, Mackenzie Wood tries to break through, does a wonderful job. Ball's laid back. There's some space out wide if uh, there is. Oh, oh good bobble, take but in a good wow. take around the back. Tackle, we're like five yards out or less from the Belmont line. This is sustained pressure. Referee penalty. penalty. Could have that been was. holding onto the ball, I think, on, on yes, after I the tackle. So. so. 
And I think they'll be a little annoyed that they didn't, they had, may have had a chance of an overlap there and a uh, good kick from Lucy. So uh, that's fairly well cleared the lines. Good chance of Gunquin there, but. So we've got uh, Liv Mann off the field at the moment. Looks like a thumb injury. She's icing it. So uh, coming on, I haven't seen uh, the replacement yet. Stolen again. Uh, Gunquin have been practicing their lineouts this week. <coughs> It is great. When we lose the ball, though, Charlie, it's amazing how the Belmont players recognize the threat that that poses. And they get down ready in the tackle position. Sadie did it. Sally just did it then. It's great. Very up very yes. quickly. Who was that number 13? That's that, Hannah. That was Hannah. Very good. She was so up very quick. I know, and it's just enough. To, they'll even say that in professional game, right? It's enough to take your eye off the ball because you're conscious of this player coming up on you very quickly. And that was enough to put the player off. And now Lucy to clear a line. Good kick. Great kick over the deep into the half. Great bounce. That's going to run in. It could be a 50-22 here, David. Yes. Oh, well saved by Algonquin. Oh, and Belmont she's tackle her. She's stranded. Oh, no, get her down. She's down the ground, yes. now the ball rocking. Yes, it's got to be holding on, yes. She had little choice there. Oh. oh. Using the hands, Belmont, using the hands on the ground. That's not a great uh, outcome there for Belmont after all that pressure. No, that was... Uh, yes, yeah, so certainly uh, Algonquin must be fading a little bit. That was, uh, that was great follow-up play from Belmont. Three players there and, uh, and managed, uh, unfortunately, to give the... Uh, to give the penalty away. You know, but once again, like the Algonquin team were, like that ball was kicked 20, 25 yards down and that team raced back to help their player. Like, they did. And, and they did. you know, they got the penalty out of it. Yes. Like you, there's a lot of credit there. That's not an easy thing to do in 80 degree heat is sprint no, no. 25 yards oh. backwards. So at the end of a tiring first half. So, so good defense by them. Robin uh, Picky clearing that uh, bobbling ball. And now countering from uh, Belmont. So I think Meredith. Meredith now for the come end. On, yes, yeah. she's so the that's right. Yeah. So she's come on for live man at the moment. He's no, we can't do that. That's going to be. Uh, no, I think the ref the, can't uh, see. The ref couldn't see that on this side. Some of the some of the spectators saw it, Charlie. I think so. One in particular, we may have to have words with him at halftime. As a as a member of the refereeing community here in New England, I'm going to have to have words with one of our supporters. <laughs> He's Australian. It doesn't yeah, count. That's it, true. It? Yeah. yeah. Okay, the rest of so you Australians are great, but this one particular guy. Oh, yeah. what a tackle! Sadie Taylor absolutely took out her player there. I mean, David, we don't want to ostracize our large Australian community who are watching in Sydney right now. No, exactly. Yeah. So. Oh. Okay, so that's safe, safe touch, not, not too much distance. So we're hitting into the last, you know, minute or two of this half. Referee will check her watch. It's uh, we're heading on regulation time of 35 minutes, but... There's been a couple of stoppages, so the referee will probably play two or three more minutes. Um, Belmont leading 28 nil. But I think the score is not like it's giving Belmont a lot more credit than, than the game was really That's is, true. right? There's Belmont have taken their two or three chances. Algonquin yes. have had a great set of defense, have a few chances themselves that they couldn't quite finish. Right. So I think this game is much tighter than the score would uh, yes, suggest at this time. Right, there were four. Belmont had four chances, scored four times. Right. Okay, now we've got another chance here. At least a scrum inside, halfway into uh, Old Dunquin's uh, half. Oh, 
ref wants to make sure the uh, everything's safe, at least set at the scrum. Players in the backs here, we don't often comment on it, but uh, Charlie have to stand five meters. So you see both sets of backs, the first receiver, if you will, standing five meters behind the back foot of the scrum. There's more room to play in. Sadie Taylor with the pickup. Going on the short side. Nice miss move there. And, and off. Mia this Taylor is Mia Taylor's gonna she's gonna make that in the corner. Good score. Five tries out of five attempts, Charlie. I think that makes a great way to end the half for Belmont. So like you say, Charlie, still makes uh, Oh, uh, the ref. I think it's still a try. I think the ref signaled it. It's uh, yes. I think the Algonquin just checking with the ref that th that'll be the end of the half, and she it. said that it will be, which is uh, yeah, an unusual scene, actually, not not to be lined up behind the post. But there's no reason to. You don't have to line up behind the post. Is that a tradition, Charlie, that we all got used to? Yeah, Obviously, no, you can charge it, this ball down. I mean, if you were standing where the touch judge is now with her flag, you could run at Lucy. As soon as she starts to move, you could run and try to stop the ball going over, which we've seen. Yes. So, great half, Charlie. Great half. That wraps it up. This is the second half of the Belmont Varsity Girls uh, Rugby. We're playing Algonquin, um, who are kicking off now, playing right to left, and Belmont playing in the darker blue shirts. Good kick there, um, taken by Lucy. Dropping it backwards, which is fine. And setting the ball up here, so that's, uh, that's I think Meredith is still on. I think uh, Live man, nice timing of the pass to Chloe Ellis. Chloe Ellis, oh, oh that's gonna get pulled back. Yeah, yes, it so, is. And and yes, she knows. Yeah, it. She knows immediately. Oh, oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. So so there's a very strict rule, quite rightly, in rugby that you have to make a tackle below the shoulder line. Um, anything around the neck is um, a 10 minute offense is the yellow card right there, yep. David. And like really unfortunate, very unintentional by um, number four there in Algonquin yeah. and very unintentional, but grabbing that jersey is deemed dangerous play. So the referee really had no choice there. Right. So on the halfway line, Lucy, Charlie, I was just a little distracted, obviously. Uh, our viewer, at least, out there, is asking whether or not the commentary team is ragging on Australians. <laughs> so, so... Just one. Just, just one, right? I just thought I'd, just thought I'd mention that before, before we carry on. Uh, so, uh, that means Algonquin down to 14 players for those 10 minutes, nine and a bit minutes now. Belmont with the throw-in. Abby Hill getting up there. Nice take. Oh, that ball goes and take, picked up by who else, Charlie? Oh, yeah. Sadie so. Taylor to the rescue once again. That was a... Oh, nice. Oh, oh just one lucky Robin. there by Robin. That was a good pass. Good flat pass, that, Charlie. With Robin, uh, flat pass meaning, you know, you're actually, you're not, you, everybody knows that in rugby you have to pass the ball backwards, but if you pass it back a long way backwards, obviously you put your players further away from the attack. If you pass it as flat as you can, then it means generally they're running onto the ball at speed and therefore Robin there would have a great chance if she'd have managed to take that, but a very difficult chance. So a knock on again, a gun Quinn. Well, I think as we start this half, uh, you know, just reflecting on the first, on the first half, reflecting again on the first half um, and the opportunities, you know, I think the... Uh, just get my mic all mic'd up. Yeah. And then uh, I think Algonquin, like, to, to stand behind what they were doing, had um, really good turnovers. They they turned over seven, several lineouts. They turned over several rucks. And uh, really good defensive play there. And, and um, 
for Belmont, they really took the chances. They had five yes. chances and they took them, right? Like So two Ooh. definitely positive from both sides there. Oh, for sure. The second half. So uh, Algonquin uh, gone backwards a little bit there. And again, a great, just a great tackle. As we uh, get some adjustments made to uh, Charlie's... Uh, Headset, nice spin pass, good kick. Look at that torpedo, Charlie. So you'd often see. Oh, nicely taken by Ali Caputo. She cuts back inside, that's where her support is. Yep. Nice clean ball on the ruck there. Yep. Clarissa oh. Dix. Oh. Not rolling away, not rolling. Very clear signal there from the, the ref. I think she also knows she's clear. So I think just happened to knock that ball on, I think, at the, at the base of the rock. Otherwise, the referee, as you've probably seen already, has a uh, jurisdiction to play uh, advantage. And so can keep the play going if, if it's obvious that the team that's uh, in possession uh, can, uh, can make inroads into the opposition's uh, territory. So. Territory or tactics, David? Territorial advantage or tactical advantage, as the rule book would say. Oh, really? Yes. I've forgotten, Charlie, so you, you are now a fully qualified referee. I certainly am. I I'm, I'm, uh, took my license this year, so looking forward to uh, getting an opportunity to get out and referee some of these games. So, I wonder what it would be like to watch from the, you know, being on the field, Charlie. You're going to have a great opportunity to see, I guess. I will say from the training, it is extremely difficult with, it's far easier sitting up here yes. looking down than being on the fields trying to keep your eye on 30 people and the ball. Yes. Very, very difficult. So I've full admiration for the job the referees are doing and picking up on the little nuances of this game because there's a lot of, a lot of little technical nuances, so. For sure, there's a lot going on on a rugby field, right? So, and having said that, the ref uh, made a call there, which was uh, so somewhat obvious. Belmont knocked the ball forward, so, uh, and the, uh, the way to restart the game is, as you've heard before, is a scrum. So, Algonquin with the pudding, good shove from good Belmont. Good shove and turn around. Yeah. Oh, so just rotated. So, they'll take that again. So, Charlie, I, I assume here Algonquin have had to put in, yes, they've had to put eight players into the scrum, right? They've only got six. That's right, because their player who's on the side was a second row player. So, they, yes, you have to put in, um, you can substitute in a second row and pull someone else out to fill that position as a, as a temporary substitution until the penalty is done, or somebody else can move into that position, so... Yes, I realize though with they still have six backs and a scrum half, so they can't have, they must Maybe be packing not. down without an eighth player. So, uh, and they've managed to get the ball back, so. Well played. Yeah. Nicely wrapped up there by a couple of Belmont players. With the wind behind me there, Charlie, I'd have been tempted to hoof that one. Perhaps perhaps it's coming now. Nice spin out. Oh, and oof, good tackle. Oh, oh no, well broken this through. Is, this is our player again, I think. This is I think uh, it's Becca. Becca. Very good. Nice breakthrough there. Gained 15 yards through that play. Ball just inside the Algonquin half. Five yards inside. Clean rocks. Ball laid back. You can see it there. Scrum half picks up. Feeds to the prop again hard nice. yards but good retention inside Abby step up quickly but yeah Ooh. oh, oh nice great help. pass great offload there that was really good. 12 being picked up in the tackle there from uh, that's one of the centers adriana russell what a great pass that behind the back oh, of the great Belmont tackle defender. there by Mia. Yes. Number nine taking the ball on Charlie. It's a little sniping run, often we call that. Number one, Mackenzie Wood carrying the ball on there. Nice set. So Gunquin going through the phases now as it's 
cool. That must be up to seven or eight phases, Charlie, at least. And yeah, now we're 20 yards inside Belmont's half, so like 20, 25, 30 yards gained in this uh, passage of play. Well, good play. Oh, unfortunate yeah, there at the end. It seemed to, she held on to the ball for an awful long time before passing it back. That's the number two for Algonquin. So the ref decided uh, that that was a penalty-worthy offence. So uh, no score here in the first half. Brightly started by both. Oh, tapped down but knocked forward there. Accidental. Yeah, so a bit of a skewed kick there. We don't often see from uh, Lucy and the uh, some substitutes coming on for Belmont. So that's uh, 21 uh, Tarleen coming on and Tabby certainly going off as well as Layla Lucis has come on, number 19, and she is replacing number six, who is Danielle Bufano. So uh, Danielle and uh, Tabby had both uh, good games. Big shift in today. Very good games, and I would imagine, given the size of the roster here for Belmont, that they'll put everybody on the field, particularly given the heat and the... Uh, um, I'm sure it's very tiring for the team out there. Yes, if it was a... Uh, Algonquin looked like they may only have uh, three subs, so... Uh, and here's uh, Mira going on as well. So uh, that's Mira uh, Kosavadi, number 22. I, I, I didn't see the third player going off. Ah! Is it Sarah? Yes, yeah, so Sarah must have been injured. Uh, yes. We've just seen Sarah emerging from deep inside the Algonquin half, so uh, I didn't notice. Oh, that's Sally, is that Sally? Oh, Sally, sorry. Sally, Sally, Sally. okay. So a little mix up there. So Mira came on, is packing down in the back row. Sally, who is a second row, has moved out. So perhaps Sarah has moved into that uh, position. Holding on from Belmont. That uh, call was very quick there, so uh, Sadia judged to have... Nice kick. So Algonquin, uh, with something of the advantage now, are put in uh, with a much changed uh, pack from uh, Belmont. So uh, I think all those replacements went into the forwards. Yeah, so I think both of our props are now. Meredith is still on, um, and Taylene is, uh, I believe she's propping today. So throw in to Algonquin deep inside the Belmont half, 25 yards out. Oh, stolen. Oh, no, it's their, their point. Sorry, Joe. And coming down the narrow side here, ball is, in a, is down on the ground. It pops out. Number 20 there is driving forward. So 20 is new. That's uh, Anna Belleville, 10th grader. So... Uh, a great bit of defense there from Belmont. They stuck on the line. A oh, great drive forward. They're five yards out from the Belmont line. Algonquin in the most threatening position. Ball's being held up. It's being mauled. And it's a score. And it's a score. Dive over. I think well deserved. Good yeah. passage of play there for the last, and with 14 players. So that'll give them a bit of confidence too. So. For sure. That's. Uh, so Belmont uh, for sure doing a little bit of regrouping here. Getting together in a huddle next to the, the posts. You can see a lot of points, but that was a well-worked move from Algonquin. Started with that uh, line-out from the uh, excellent kick and the penalty. So I think Algonquin are back to 15 now, right? I think, I think so. That just time must have, uh, must have elapsed. So number six for Algonquin, trying to add the extras, and doesn't get it. Oh, does get it. I have to change my long-distance glasses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
it, it did look like it went to the left, but I think it was uh, just the angle we're the sitting at, so it was clearly, uh, well, clearly that's seven. So that's uh, yeah, 35 uh, to seven. Nice crowd here today, Charlie. Enjoying the uh, enjoying the game. So, Lucy uh, Cabral with the uh, with the kickoff. Sadie Taylor there, great clean ball back. Very out to Lucy. Spin, oh, nice bobbles, take but taken. By Tallinn. Tallinn, Tallinn, good job. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Clarissa feeds it out to Lucy, who kicks it oh, over the top. That's a good Ali kick with Caputo a bit of space. Can she get the bounce? Oh. oh, and just bobbles it forward. But yes, that was a great move, Charlie. Yeah, look, they've gained 40 yards in uh, a matter of a minute, so in a very good attacking position deep inside the Algonquin half. Five yards out of the line. It's a scrum to Algonquin from that unfortunate knock-on from the bounce as Ali Caputo tried to pick up a great cross-field kick. So another scrum. Let's see... Uh that's changed uh, pack for pack of forwards for Belmont. Nice to see uh, Chloe Ellis judging the ch uh, the uh, ch uh, the danger of a kick here, Charlie. So nice oh. pick up in. Oh, oh, that might work out okay. Well, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gonna go in the, the yeah. sideline. I'm not quite sure that was the kick that was intended, but. Could have worked to their advantage with a bit of open field there. It, but could, it could have done, yeah. That would have been uh, New York. If Chloe was standing in the position that Kicker probably wanted the ball to go into and then uh, skewed off to the... Uh, oh, my God! <laughs> a, bird, uh, a bird there just uh, <laughs> frightening our expert cameraman, Another Jeremy. good little disruption in the line out there by um, yeah. Algonquin. They have... They have been uh, doing that all this game. They're definitely very competitive at the, uh, at the, at the line out. Yeah, no, oh. very much so. Water break. Water, Water break, break, referees called it. So what was that happening? A little bird flew into the camera? Oh, a little bird was trying to nest in the, in the handle of the camera. Um, Jeremy was having none of it. <laughs> Quick reactions. Shoot that bird away. Can't mm -hmm. interrupt any of our live stream here. Our audience are too critical. Putting the audience first, thank you. So I think we have on our front row, we have Meredith, Kelsey, and Sarah Boss has moved into the front row. She's, she's packing down on the tight side here on the right. Number 17. We have Sally and Abby in the second row now. And then on our wings, or am I reading that wrong? <laughs> Uh, yes, I think I think Sally was, is actually number. Uh, yeah, she's playing a left flanker at the moment. I think uh, Sally. That's Sarah, sorry. Sarah, Sarah number is seventeen. Who is up oh, there? Nice move, Robin at speed coming on to that, Thank trying you. to get the ball out. Talene is up at yeah. Talene's up at, right. uh, at, uh, at prop. So the uh, ball's coming back to Hannah. Stays on her feet, drives oh. forward, goes to ground, clean ball back. I might need to do something here to yes. Sally, Sally with charging the forward. Oh, I thought there was a nearly on the line, nearly on the line, but here it must be. Oh. Referee calls a stoppage. We can't see exactly. Oh, she's giving the try. Or is it? Yes. Ah. No. No, no. no it's not. I was going to say, Algonquin were clapping. That's uh, so they gave penalties. Well, I think that might have she might have considered that a double movement, Charlie. Perhaps um, it did look like. Oh, and that's great take by Robin. Look at that speed, Charlie. Determined. Still on her feet. Twenty-yard return. Ball look laid back. 
perfectly. Clarissa digs it out, Lucy, to Kelsey Donaldson. Charges in, Taking middle of the one, field. Took in three players of that, so there should Lucy be space again, outside. There should be space out. If they can just get that. Oh, Hannah, Hannah did a great Abby. job. Abby Hill going for it. There's Taylene. Oh, oh just bobbled forward. Yeah. Recovered by Algonquin, who are now on the counter. Gunkin trying to keep the ball alive there in their own uh, 22. Yes, still keeping it still alive. Still popping up these little passes, little yes. offloads. Look at that. They've gained 15, 20 yards out of that. Ah, very good play. Just creeps out over the touch. So, that'll be a little bit of relief. So, uh, going on for Belmont 25. Gretchen Christensen is coming on. So, she's, she's now replacing... Uh, uh, Sally. Sally. So Sally's coming off and Gretchen is going on. <coughs> <coughs> so Belmont with the throw. Uh, Algonquin carrying that ball out. Oh, nice steal again. Charlie, they're, as you said already, their practices were dominated by stealing the ball at the line out. Good tackle. Good presence of mind there from Algonquin player, Charlie. Picked that ball up. She noticed she the... Noticed uh, a little yeah. gap. Oh, that's nice. a true, very nice play there. Robin going to tackle there. Yes, and taking it all the way all out. All the way out. <laughs> well played, Robin. <laughs> yes, she knew exactly what she was going to do yes. there. So That was a great tackle. Great uh, break there from, uh, from Belmont. And uh, now it's a Belmont throw. Great. As you said, Charlie, presence of mind there from Robin to carry that player all the way... Uh, And out, good. And Ali Caputo has the wheels. Has the wheels. She is going to scoot up. Cuts back inside. Good saving tackle good there. Tackle. Number nine, yes. Belmont need a quick ball here. Oh, not rolling away and moving, trying to move your hands on the ground. Taking quick it quickly. No, not through the mark. So, we get another chance at that one. So, uh, Now Belmont going to settle, Lucy uh, Cabral is going to settle it down a bit more now. And uh, Good kick up deep with five metres of the Algonquin half. So uh, number 23 coming on is Mira Gardner. So she's coming on on the wing to replace Chloe. Fifteen minutes left or so. I will say one thing Coach McKay will not be happy with is the Belmont lineup. It has been <laughs> unstable all day, all night, and uh, I think she's going to have the team practicing that this week. It's uh, it's one area of the field that you have full advantage in, uh, in retaining the ball and. When you lose it, just like here, you give the opposition a, a, a chance to use the ball and progress upfield, and this is exactly what's happening here. Ogunquen. Absolutely, Charlie. Yeah, this. Ogunquen off, almost playing sevens, Charlie, trying to keep this ball alive at the moment. It's uh, oh, they set it now. Ooh. There you go. And that ball I was just thinking, why don't they kick it more? Because they have to win from there. We yes. launch it out. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of back to where we started, I think. So. Yes. But you're right. With this, the uh, wind's picked up again. That would be an ideal opportunity to hoof the ball downfield. Welly it. Welly it. That's what they used to say in the yeah. old country. So uh, here we've got a chance of... Uh, Belmont to uh, make amends, Charlie, for your <laughs> comments about their line out. So, and that's, that's at least one by Belmont, not cleanly, but it is one. 
And Abby with the pick up and go. Nice pick up by Mia Taylor there. Satana's Great ball. Uh, ball. Twisting, turning, yeah. bobbling. Balls back. Kelsey. Oof, good tackle. Kelsey got pretty well taken out there. I think if Mary Hannah get this out quickly. Oh, oh, unfortunately. Went backwards. I think the ref is Lucy. That's Lucy. Oh, good try saving tackle there. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Is that Clarissa? Opportunistic yeah. dive in the corner. Let's go, Lola! But number nine. I think nine just scored, right? Um, yeah. But Layla Patterson's just come on. Looks like she's going to take is, over. I'm going to... Another score, 42 points to seven, uh, 59 minutes on the clock. So did uh, did Lucy make that kick from the touchline? 35 and five, yes, seven, yes it yeah, is, wow. uh, six for six. Which is a very oh. good kick, tight angle. She did that last week as well, actually. Uh, yes, I remember seeing that. Uh, So, Algonquin now, uh, so th that's uh, one score each, actually, in this half, right, Charlie? So, uh, a little over 10 minutes. Meredith uh, taking the ball back towards the opposition. Layla Patterson is now on at number 18, so playing number nine, scrum half. Oh, Algonquin has over stolen again. the ball again. Just Still great determination, going, yes. like not willing to go down, lays the ball back. This is promising now from Algonquin as they're pushing forward on the Belmont 35-yard line. Coming out this narrow side. Again, always looking for the offload. Ball goes to ground. But Belmont's defense is super right now. Yes. They're really up for it. They're up for all of those short little walls, but now they're spinning it out the back. Again, Belmont quickly across. Brings the player to the ground. Ruck forms. Ogunquin try and spin it back out. Looking for any little square inch to break through. It could be here. They've got it. Laid the ball back again. Not really numbers out here though. There's not too many in attack versus uh, defense out here. And that player is. They must feel like they're trying to run through a wall every yes. time here. It's uh, it's persistent, and the tackling is great by Belmont. Player goes to ground. Ruck forms again. This is six, seven, eight plays phases of play. Oh, driven back two or three yards there. Great tackle. That's Gretchen, number 25 Gretchen. for Belmont. Yeah. Because it's two, yeah. two tackles each time, Charlie. It's not just uh, single number it's tackles. <laughs> Team tackling here. Good catch by Abby Hill. Needed to be made there. Oh, 
Oh, there's uh, a player from the first half, Becker again, number eight for Algonquin. But that ball is now, oh, it's still in. Yes, it must have gone in. Yes. Now it's out, the flag is up. So I think that is... Uh, so Becker Michaud is coming on for... Hannah is going off. Hannah so Jacoby in the center. Yeah. A solid game from Hannah, who plays very intelligent rugby, great defense. So it looks like we have a throw in to, is it Belmont's ball? I can't uh, see who, who has it in their hands there. It's on the Belmont 10 yard line, only 10 yards from the Belmont try line. Great attacking position for Algonquin. Let's see what they can do here. So, oh, Belmont stole that ball, Charlie, unless it was our put in kick. But, oh, so that's anybody's ball now. It hit a deflection, right? So that... It, Everyone's all, on all, side, everybody's right? Everybody's on side. Yeah. You can do whatever you want. And uh, I think all the players realize that then, which is also another sign of their rugby intelligence. So... Oh, good hands all the way out. Good support play. But again, great tackling and defense. Well, There's three, this. four, five yes. people there. <laughs> There's got to be an overlap somewhere here. It feels like if they could get Trying it along, that's out. the pass that was oh, needed to be tackle. made. Number 20 for Belmont. So that is, oh, that's uh, Rebecca, of course. So. Oh, 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 great tackle there by. It was probably Sadie yeah. Taylor. <laughs> And, and a lovely look at kick. That. That's how to use the ball. That is a great kick. Relieve the pressure. Great pick up again by. She's had a good game at fullback actually. The captain. Uh, Pull down race. right at the halfway line. Nice run back in. Bala de Santos there with the ball, putting it back. Algonquin just inside the Belmont half, picking up with Eleni. Driving forward, hard yards here by Algonquin, but they have the ball. We'll say goodnight to Mr. Hamer. Thank you very much, sir. And um, we'll see you in the next time. And Spinning the ball out here on the f into the Algonquin out to the right wing. Still solid defense from Belmont. Ruck has formed the balls at the base of the ruck there. Algonquin trying to dig this out. Belmont really fighting for it. They're going to turn this over. What a play. Great, great perseverance by Belmont. They turned the ball over. Leia gets it out very quickly. But Sarah Boss bursting through. Layla Patterson digs it out. And here's Sadie Taylor charging through all the way up to the halfway line. Gets the offload out to Robin Tanamura, who lays the ball back. Layla Patterson deep digs it out. Great catch by um, Gretchen Christensen, who plows forward. Again, much more, much more pl uh, aggressive play by Belmont. Play continues, Belmont charging forward. Um, Sadie Taylor, Mia Taylor there, but great bit of defense by Algonquin. Ball's dug back out. Looked like Meredith Knopf who was charging forward. Here's Gretchen Christensen again, charging through. Great play. Oh, so that was Talin, sorry, Talin. But it looks like we've lost the ball, so it's uh, Algonquin have dug it out. They're now charging up 10 yards inside their own half. 
14 minutes left on the clock, but the ball's been bobbled over again. Mia Taylor, eyes awake, eyes heads up, play, recovers quickly out. Kelsey Donaldson charges through to gain the hard yards. 35 yard line of, of Algonquin, ball's coming back out. Layla Patterson digs it out. It's Ali Caputo just tips it forward. We've referee blows up and it's a scrum for the knock on to Algonquin. A good passage of play there. We have a couple of injuries. Ref stops, blows the whistle. Players are hands on their knees. I think the heat is really beginning to take a factor now in the last 10 minutes, 15 minutes of the game. And we are going for an official water break. I think players will uh, need that. It's a good call by the referee. And uh, we'll take a little break while they uh, rehydrate. Using that wind to their advantage. All right, welcome back. Here we are. The water break is over. The teams are back forming the scrum. It's a knock. It was a knock on by Belmont, so it is a scrum to Algonquin on their 25-yard line. Score is 42 points to seven in Belmont's favor, with about 13 minutes left on the clock, plus whatever time the referee adds um, for for stoppages. So. A very competitive game. The score is a little bit misleading. It's been a tight game. Uh, Belmont have had six chances, taken six chances, and Algonquin have had uh, several chances, but have met a very sturdy and solid Belmont defense to keep them out. So score stands as it is, and the referee needs to take that scrum again. So when the scrum forms, the two teams pack in together. The ball must go into the channel and be scooped back by the feet. On, um, on either side, typically the side putting the ball in. And that ball shot out through the channel out the other side, so the, it was not a uh, legal scrum. So the referee stopped the play and is asking for a retake. And here we go, you can see the ball moving back through the feet, scooped out by Algonquin scrum half. An attempted clearance kick gets blocked down there. And I think that was, that was, um, Mira Gardner, I think, who recovered that. Lucy Cabral with the ball on the left side, narrow side of the field. Belmont are looking to win this, to spin this back out. Oh, and just bobbled forward there. So it's advantage to Algonquin, they have the ball. And they're going in deep tight again, oh, quick offload. Gaining the yards, two, three, four yards at a time. Ball's brought down. Spun right out, good move here. Good hands by the backs. All the way out to the, uh, the wing here for Algonquin. Ball is returned on the narrow side, a kick ahead, but very narrow angle, so kicked into touch. Belmont ball on about the 15-yard line, um, 15 yards out of the Algonquin line. So good deep uh, advantage here for Belmont, deep inside the Algonquin half. So 
sun beginning to set behind us and uh, long shadows crossing over the field. Players looking into the sun as this throw-in goes in. Let's see if Belmont can get this. Kelsey Donaldson with the throw-in. No. Referee explaining. Kelsey Donaldson with the throw-in. Belmont ball. Great clean catch. That's much better from Belmont. Now they're trying to maul the ball. Stay on their feet as they drive forward in this position. It's called a maul. Goes to ground. Ball is rubbed. Player must release the ball. Scooped out. Lucy Cabral scoops it out to Mia Taylor, who's to Rebecca Michaud. Layla Patterson scoops it out. This is a promising ball. Robin Tanamura using her bursting speed to break through the defensive line and score a super try there. What a try. Great team effort all from that line out. Clean ball. Quick maul. Player went to ground. Spun out. One phase of play. Ball goes to ground. Spun right out. Quick move to... Robin Tanamura and she scores on the left side of the field. Great try. So Lucy Cabral with the kick here. It is true. Perfect night for Lucy so far. Seven from seven. And that is it. The referee will call that as the end of the game. Um, my math was off a few minutes ago. So uh, congratulations to Belmont. Winners of 49 points to seven. And thank you. Hopefully you enjoyed the game. And uh, we'll see you at the next time. Thank you to uh, Belmont Media. <laughs>